Good morning, y'all. It is not Monday. It is Wednesday. And your girl's feeling so much better. Thank you so much for the well wishes. Your girl does not have the flu anymore. I was knocked out for about a good two weeks. I'm feeling a whole lot better. Sometimes I cough every now and then. But anyway, um, what we have today, we have, this looks like every day, you know. I have a turkey and cheese sandwich right here for the little ones. I gave him a half because last time I gave him a full sandwich last week and he tried. He really tried y'all. He struggled to finish the other half but he couldn't do it. But Lizzie can finish a whole sandwich so we have that. And then we have some broccoli and some nice bright red strawberries. And same thing for little man. And then we have some dip right here for the broccoli. It is the peppercorn ranch. And there's one under Lizzie's. You guys can see that right there. And then I have a little treat for them. I know these are not the best things in the whole wide world. But you know, I wanted to I wanted to spoil them a little bit. For their snack, they have these Drake's apple fruit pie. Lizzie doesn't know about it. I told her it's something special. So he has one and she has one. Wait, make sure I don't have no, no type of warning. No, it just says may also be present tree nuts. That's okay. He's not allergic to tree nuts. He's allergic to peanuts, and they're not the same thing. I kept on saying, but you said the word nuts. And she said, because this is when I got him tested for um, an allergy. She said, but that's not peanuts, Kim. I was like, but the word nuts, I ain't giving it to him. And she was laughing at me. It took me a long time, over a year, to give him any other type of nut because it had the word nut in it. I said, I'm scared to give him coconuts. And she started laughing but he's just allergic to peanuts, that's all. Um, but yeah, this is their lunch. Then I'm gonna um, put some ice cold water in their cups, it just has water right now. Then I'm gonna ice it up real good, you know what I'm saying? And then that is it for the day, you know? So I will see you guys at the end of the day. Good morning, y'all. It is Thursday. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. The reason why um, the beginning of the week it started with Wednesday is because they had two days off for the holiday and I don't record when Lizzie doesn't go to school because I just make food when it's time to eat. I should start making the lunches um, every day even when they're even when she's not at school but that's why it started on Wednesday. <laughs> but anyway okay so what we have today we have some Tostitos. They picked these out at the store yesterday because we went to Target. So I have eight for Lizzie and eight for Eddie, just like that. I baked them this morning. And then we have some peppers and grapes. They love their peppers and they love their grapes. So that's what I have for them right there. This is a pretty quick breakfast. Um, and it snowed really bad last night, so it's a two hour delay. So your girl is making this late. It's, what is it, it's 9.15 right now. And, um, so they're gonna be eating lunch soon, like around, I give Eddie his lunch like around noon or 12.30, and then she eats the lunch around that time at her school too. So that is it, I gotta make their ice cold water and get their snack together, and I think that's it. So I will see you guys at the end of the day. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. Yes, the end of the week. <laughs> and today, I have pretty much what they usually have at school, like if you were buying your lunch. Because today's Friday, it's pizza day. Oh, yeah. I got these little tiny pizzas from Costco a while ago. You guys saw it. If you didn't see it, I'll link my Costco video down below. And I got a box of all these little personal little pizzas. So we have some cheese pizza right here. I had to cut them in half so they'll fit in their little container. And then I have some nice red strawberries and grapes. And then they wanted some more of those peppers. They are addicted to these peppers, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> and um, oh, and with these pizzas, I cook them in the oven. Usually I just make them quick in the microwave. There he go yelling, y'all. I usually cook them in the microwave. But um, with this, I want it to be nice and crispy, crunchy, you know what I'm saying? So I made it in the oven. Yes, your girl has the oven on at 7 o'clock in the morning, and it's not Thanksgiving. Wow! You know, that's when you t usually have your oven on real early, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, you know? <laughs> but anyway, this is what we have. Um, and you already know the drill. Got some nice ice cold water and a snack on the side. And I will see you guys at the end of the day. Woo -woo. Good 
Good morning, y'all. It is Monday. <laughs> and let's get straight into what we have. We have a chicken and cheese sandwich. And then we have some strawberry and grapes. Strawberry and grapes. And then we have celery, y'all. I've given them celery before and they didn't eat it. I'm trying to, um, I was about to say drive. I'm trying to, I'm trying to try something else. They've had it before, but they're probably not going to eat it. It's really my celery because I'm the only one in the house that eats celery. And uh, I turn it into celery juice. And they always be looking at me, staring at me, looking like they want some so I can give you celery. And then I, I let them try the juice before and Lizzie almost died. And, and Eddie pretended that he liked it. He was a good faker. He drunk all of, it was like a tiny, like a shot glass looking amount. And um, he, he did good. And you could just see his face that he was like, I'm just trying to make it look like I like it. And Lizzie, she almost died on the floor, floor flatlined. But anyway, we have some celery and then they could dip it in sunflower butter. I am gonna move the sunflower butter um, little containers because the tops are not gonna go on with them sticking up like that. So I may put them down in here with the, um, the sandwich. And I told her, I said, do not lick the sunflower butter if you're not eating the uh, celery. I said, I want some celery missing. Don't come back here with that container completely empty and no sunflower butter, but all those pieces of celery are still there. She's done that before. Um, there was a time where I did, you know, like the ants on the log type of thing. I didn't do the ants, I just did the log. And the log is the celery, and then you put the um, like peanut butter, sunflower butter, you put the little little butter. You put that on there, and they supposed to put raisins, but I didn't have raisins, so I just spread the sunflower butter on there. You know that girl sat there and just licked all of them like a lollipop and brought the celery back home? Where they do that at? Over here. <laughs> so we're not doing that. So I told her to eat that and bring empty containers home and I want the food in your body. But she doesn't throw things away. Well, she threw something away once. But for the most part, she don't throw anything away. So if she brings the food back and she comes home and she says she want an afternoon snack, that's gonna be her afternoon snack. <laughs> anyway, they have their ice cold water and then they are gonna have a snack and then that'll be it. So I'll see you guys at the rest. At the rest? What am I talking about? I'm gonna see you guys at the end of the day. Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday. I hope you don't hear the dishwasher in the background, nor that little, um, what is it, PBS Kids, because I just forgot to put the TV on mute, because the kids were out here watching TV. But anyway, um, let's get this right on in here. Okay, so right now we have some apples. I cut them up. First I um, use the apple slicer, so they're in slices, and then I cut the slices in half so that they could get more apples inside of their their little containers because I noticed I could only put like a couple slices in there and now I could put a whole bunch of slices once I cut them like that so that's their apples and I let them sit in um, lemon juice and I put lemon juice like a little bit of lemon juice and mostly water and put them in a bowl and let them sit for maybe like 10 minutes and then we will want to pop it then we have containers we have their thermos and inside of their thermos they have stuffed ravioli with um, tomatoes, onions, and um, spinach. Dang, I'm like focusing on the time and I'm focusing on them not yelling or fighting each other because I hear Eddie yelling. So, um, you know, it's like a mom brain, dang. But yep, and so let me close these back up before they get cold. So I got the vegetables all up in there, so that's all we need. Boom, and I got the little corbs, I got the cheese, everything is all up in the same thing. Um, so uh, that's what we have. I let some boiling water sit inside the thermos for like 10 minutes. I poured the water out and then I proceeded to put in the cooked food. So this is what we have for the day. And I'll see you guys at the end of the day. I think that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Look at this. It's looking different. <laughs> it's Wednesday. And what we have today, I'm sorry that the light looks so dim. I don't know why. But um, what we have today is we have a quesadilla. This is from uh, Trader Joe's. So it's their quesadilla. I took one and split it in half. And then we have some strawberries and blackberries right here for both of them. 
And then we have some cucumbers. And I tossed it in some, um, what'd you call it, some honey. It was weird, Eddie asked for this yesterday. He said, mommy, can I have some cucumbers? And can you put some honey on it? I'm like, what? I told my sister, she was dying. She said, look at him, like he over there in Italy or France. I said, I know, he is crazy. <laughs> but he wanted it, and then Lizzie was staring. I said, do you want some? She said, no. And I said, yes you do, look at you looking. So then, I said, well I could give it to y'all tomorrow for lunch. She was like, yes! I said, why are you getting so excited? You could have had some now. But anyway, so I tossed it in a little bit of honey, so I give it a little sweetness, and he tore it up. They're fighting over there. Jesus. When they know I'm recording, y'all, they get crunk. But anyway, um, this is what they're having for lunch. I'm going to put some ice cold water on the side, and then they're going to have their snack. And I think that's it. And we will see you guys at the end of the day. It is Thursday, Friday Eve, and look at this, looking different, looking different. And we're gonna start off with the main course, and that is the Totino's. They're like the little stuffed pizza things, and it is pepperoni. Eddie has eight, Lizzie has eight. It'll satisfy their hunger, that's a lot for them, and they'll love it. Then we have some watermelon. And for the vegetable, we have cucumbers again, and I took some honey, and then I put it in a bowl and tossed the honey and the cucumbers. That a little sweet taste. Eddie came up with that, but they like it. It's funny because Lizzie ended up eating hers, these right here. She ended up eating hers after school yesterday because she came home and she said, I didn't eat the cucumbers, ill. I said, what do you mean, ill? So I looked, the girl didn't even touch the cucumbers. I said, Lizzie, why didn't you taste it? The cucumbers got honey on it. Oh, I didn't know it had honey. That means it's sweet. And she tore them up for after school snack. I'm like, Elizabeth, taste the food first. Come on now, stop saying ill when you had a celebration the night before when I said I wasn't putting it in the lunch and you screaming, yay! Lizzie just loves the front, I swear. <laughs> but she ate those for an after school snack. So when you saw the little clip right before this one, you saw how she ate all of the vegetables. She ate that after school. Now the fruit. I didn't know she didn't eat the fruit because she didn't tell me. She told me about the cucumbers and I didn't look at this thing when she opened it. She just opened it at the table and she ate it because that's all she said she didn't eat. I opened it up after and I see the fruit. I said, why the fruit not touched too? You know I gave it to her, made her eat it. We're not wasting food here, okay? I am a single mom and you love to eat. We're not wasting food. I'm like, girl, you eat blackberries all the time, and now you wanna act like you don't know what it is. I think the kids are saying things. I'm like, don't worry about them bad kids. Eat that food, girl. They just pissed because your palate is so diverse. They probably just eating an apple every day and they're getting mad. Which there's nothing wrong eating an apple every day because apple a day keep the doctor away, they good. But I don't like the fact when you're eating something and you're picking on somebody else because they're eating something different that you've never seen before or something that you don't like. That's what I don't stand for. But anyway, don't get my all roughed up because my round will turn into a <laughs> Anyway, I will see you guys at the end of the day. Good morning. It is Friday, I'm so excited. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's get started right away. Okay, what we have for the fruit today, we have strawberries and blueberries. You can see it better in, in his container. Yep, and there we go. Oh, there we go, we can see it bright in hers too. And then for the main course, I'm not gonna open up their container because it was piping hot. I got it real hot in there, and I don't wanna release any of the steam and the heat, so I'm just gonna show you what I made for them. Um, I got this from um, Trader Joe's, and it is the Trader Joe's Pepperoni Pizza Mac and Cheese Bowl. They've had this before, and they absolutely love it. This is good, y'all, y'all need to try it. And I um, just made one, I bought two of them, and I made one for two reasons. Um, number one, all of it wouldn't have fit in a um, in one, one of these little containers. And then also, this right here is a serving of two. 
so two people could eat off this anyway. Well, you know, good and doggone well, you give it to an adult, we eat the whole thing by ourselves. It's small, but I guess it's just so filling that you just eat half of it. So it's a, a two person serving, let me show you, hold on. Right there, oh Lord, is it going, there it go. See, serving per container, two. So it's two per container, a lot of calories. And then, so I made half for Eddie and half for Lizzie, and it filled it up to the top. It was just excellent. And that is it. And they're gonna have their ice cold water on the side and a snack. And that's it. And we will see you guys at the end of the day.